On June 28, 1914, Archduke Franz Ferdinand, heir to the Austro-Hungarian throne, was assassinated by Gavrilo Princip in Sarajevo. I have a belly button. This event officially started the conflict of World War I. But this event was not the only cause of World War I. Countries were gaining power due to the three isms. The first ism is, is nationalism. Nationalism is pride and devotion to one's country. Nationalism was at an extreme high in Europe before World War I because of previous wars. The second ism was militarism. Many nations were developing large armies to protect their countries. The third ism is imperialism. Much fighting was done over the colonies in Africa. Many nations formed alliances with other countries to protect themselves. Ah, 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 ah. Oh. There were two alliances formed. The first one was the Triple Entente, which consisted of France, Great Britain, and Russia. The second one was the Triple Alliance, which consisted of Italy, Germany, and Austria-Hungary. This love of alliance led to the inevitable outcome of the Great War. Welcome to the jungle! weapons developed during World War I. The most important was the machine gun. The machine gun was invented by Hiram Maxim. We've been looking for this bomb for two weeks. It's in this general direction. Let's go. I think it's right here. Wait, what was that? Oh! Another new weapon was the tank! The tank was first used in World War One in Cambria! It captured 10,000 Germans! With the tanks, infantry was able to make its way across no man's land more easily! One of the most gruesome weapons of the war was gas. Tear gas was first used by the French, but many other types of gas were invented that incapacitated the enemies. Gas masks were soon invented to help prevent the effects of gas, but there were still millions of casualties. Gas was banned as a weapon in 1925. Isn't that right, Jerry? What a good pretty. Yeah, nobody's gonna gas my pretty northern... U-boats were also used, later to be called submarines. The Germans were first to use this when they used unrestricted submarine warfare. 
This made the United States enter the war. There were two sides to World War I. There were the Allies, which consisted of the United States, Great Britain, France, and Russia, and the Central Powers, which were Germany, Italy, the Ottoman Empire, and Austria. But none of that mattered because America was in it, and America was the best! Yeah! There were many important battles fought. Overall, 8.5 million people died, 17 million were wounded, and many were handicapped for life. Yeah. Germany was blamed for the war and had to pay $30 billion in reparations. Germany was also forced to keep a limited army. The treaty caused the creation of many nations, including Finland, Estonia, Lithuania, Latvia, Poland, Yugoslavia, Romania, Czechoslovakia, Austria, Hungary, and Germany. Not really, though. The treaty caused much resentment in Germany, bleeding for World War II. The second ism was militarism. Many countries were developing large armies to protect their country. <laughs> We're gonna put that in somewhere. <laughs>